What's going on guys? Glad that you are back. It's time to code. Today we are going to look on adding an infinite scroll functionality to this chat box and we are going to use React Hooks and Intersection Observer. Okay, so let's jump to the code. Be used. As you can see, we have these two references that will be passed as parameters to the Intersection Observer. The first one will apply it the level of the container is the container ref and the second one we'll have to create an empty tag and will be the bottom reference so how the intersection observer works is that once you scroll inside this container it looks whether this element is visible or not. If it is visible, then it triggers a callback function. Let's instantiate the observer once the component is mounted. So we are going to use the use effect hook. We want to be called once, once the component is mounted. And we want to call it scroll which is a new intersection observer. We pass this parameter a callback function and a set of options. As you can see, we have three options and we are interested in the root one and later on in the root margin. To root, we pass container reference and the reason why we pass the container reference is that intersectional observer is normally assigned at the level of the body, but we don't want to list we don't want the intersection observer to listen to scroll at that level, but rather the level of this element. So the reason it so basically once you scroll inside this, you want the intersection observer to check whether this element is visible or not. Once instantiated we can call scroll observe and we'll pass the bottom reference. So what this line of code does is that once you scroll it looks whether this element is visible or not. And in order to prevent memory leaks we want that once component is unmounted to call disconnect method that is available at the level of the intersection observer. Now let's look on implementing the callback function. Now normally the intersection observer works in an asynchronous way. So it receives an array of entries which is an So it receives an array of entries because it is asynchronous and it might be the case that you have multiple references multiple we call it scroll callback and it accepts an array of intersection entries. Um, the entries is an array because the intersection observer works in an asynchronous way and if we would have multiple elements that should be observed they could be passed to this array. But in our case we only listen to one element and this element is at the bottom of the container so we can just get out very easy and say entries take the first result and if it is intersecting then we will we would simulate an ajax request first of all we'll set the loading state to true then we'll create an array of fake messages we can just copy it from here quickly 
Okay. And then we'll add a timeout of 500 milliseconds. And inside here we'll set the loading to false. And we will set the state to append the fake messages. So we spread existing messages and then the fake ones. Now, once we save, we should have, once we reach the bottom, you see, we see the loading spinner and it adds new messages. So I do it like this, like this. So it works. Now I want to trigger it a bit earlier. So what I will do is that I will add a margin here, the level of the root element. I will say 50 pixel. So what it will do is that it it will make sure that 50 pixels before looking for this element, it will already start triggering the callback. So let's do it like this. And you see the loading time is actually smaller than it was before. Unless I scroll directly here. So as you can see, in a very quick and easy manner, we added an infinite scroll functionality using an effect hook and the intersection observer. Now to recap, we have to create two references. One is assigned to the element in which we will scroll. And the second one is the reference that will be passed to the element that we want to trigger the loading state, the loading state and the fetch request. And then we will create an effect in which we will instantiate the intersection observer, we'll pass the container as a parameter, and then we will call observe on the bottom element. Inside the callback function, we'll look whether the entry is intersecting or not the bottom element. If it does, we do the fetch request, and once that is done, we set the loading state to false and we append the messages. So thank you for tuning in and let me know in the comment section below whether you like this type of content, this kind of short videos instead of the long form ones. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Cheers.